I'm Bill the Sky Guy, and this is First Light for the Rasa 11 inch by Celestron. Nobody ever said this was going to be easy. Okay, here we are at Chaplin Park on Hilton Head Island. It's a beautiful day, 62 degrees, but I expect that to change. I have my seriously winter coat and uh, I plan to be here till almost the sun come up. Okay, well, pretty much set up here. Got a little bit of daylight left. One thing I wasn't able to accomplish uh, at home was the focusing of the finder. I found out that I had a really bad image scale with the setup that I had. That's a 240 millimeter uh, finder scope. And um, I was doing some reading online and they said that, uh, well, my, my image scale was uh, 3.36 per pixel. And that's not so good. You want between one and two. So somebody said, hey, just put a Barlow in the finder or in the guide scope. So I did that and uh, there it is. But I don't have an idea where that focus is. So while it's daylight, I think I'll just try and get it focused on some park sign or something. Okay, so first thing that hasn't gone right. The idea of putting the Barlow into the guide scope was a good one in theory. However, even with both helical focusers on there and the Barlow, I can't find any combination of all the way in or all the way out that reaches focus. So it looks like if I want to try out the scope, I'm going to have to do this with an image scale of 3.3 instead of 1.6. And uh, we'll just have to see how that goes. Okay, so we're up and running here. Here's the ASI Air screen. This is my first two minute sub of the Rosette Nebula. And uh, doesn't look terrible. Guiding does though, geez. Well, we're gonna see about that. Uh, I never did get the guide scope uh, focusing with the Barlow. So maybe this is what I get for running at 3.3 image scale. All right, I'm gonna zoom in here and see what these stars look like. If you really get in there, pinch in. Let's see. Get rid of all that. How round are we here? I mean, that's not particularly sharp, is it? Maybe I'm just super zoomed. I think maybe I'll get the mask out and see what happens. Okay, with the focusing mask, I've got that as good as I can get it. This is a three minute sub, and let's just see what's going on in the details here. Oh, it looks like we have guiding errors in there. See those little handles coming off the stars? I think that's guiding correction. They're all in the same direction. Three minutes looks like a good value though. That's just one sub. Well, it's in the middle of taking another one. Let's see what the other one looks like. Well, there's a certain amount of vignetting you get with this. Rasa scope and my setup. We'll see about that. All right, next image. 
Okay, sitting here in my car, watching the subs come in, checking them. They're remarkably similar, which is good. Um, I'm using dithering for the first time, and that's interesting. Uh, you set uh, tolerances for it. It takes a couple of picks, the number that you specify, and then it moves them out over a few pixels and uh, waits for it to settle. And it was taking quite a long time for it to settle, but then I discovered I had told it it had to stay within one arc second for 15 seconds in a row. And it hasn't really been doing that. So it was taking a long time to get to those other pictures. So I ended up um, taking it to two arc seconds and for 15 seconds and that works. And uh, it's just been snapping away. So far, pictures look pretty good. However, sub 13 was definitely a dumper. Something happened on the guiding and it's got a, all the stars have a little tail coming out of the back. So we're on number 15 of 70, 60 lights, 10 darks. Getting pretty good exposures here. Uh, this has promise. It's two weeks later now, and the reason why I didn't make any videos towards the end of the night was that I ran out of power. As a matter of fact, I ran out of power so badly my car wouldn't start, which has never happened to me before. So, uh, a very abrupt end to the imaging session. It was my second object. I got a good shot of the rosette. I was very happy with the results for the first uh, time out. I think there's some things I can do better with processing, but I'll post that at the end of the video. I was trying for uh, Trio and Leo. I got about 15 images into it and then all of a sudden everything just started complaining and boom, lost the camera power and everything because that was being powered by the car battery and my car wouldn't start. So I had to call AAA at, let's see, one o'clock in the morning on Super Bowl Sunday. Not good, but Overall, it was very encouraging. So I've made some improvements. I got a short Barlow lens for the guide scope, and I'm now working that at an image scale of 1.6 arc seconds per pixel, which is nicely in the middle of the one to two range. And we'll see how that goes with the guiding. Last time my guiding was not really all that terrific. It was averaging about 2.4 arc seconds uh, with some stretches in there that were better but it was not, uh, on the whole, as good as it was with my tiny little refractor on this mount. So uh, I've done a better job of balancing this time, and we are going to try and get something tonight for the second imaging session. Uh, California Nebula is on the docket for tonight uh, before it gets too late in the year. And I'm also going to be looking for, to get the uh, Cone Nebula tonight. I'll be using the Triad OPT filter, the original one, which apparently will work with the Rasa F2 uh, speed. So let's see how that all comes out.